All right, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm using my sander. I don't have a real fancy sander like a, a knife belt sander or anything like that. Those things are pretty expensive, so I don't I don't have I don't have one of them. So what I'm gonna do is, um, <coughs> excuse me, is I'm gonna start out and I started doing it. I'm just gonna run this right up. I'm using my center mark. Hopefully you can see. I actually used a took a marker then and run down the center with uh, where that line of I, I scribed earlier was. And then I have this line. And I'm just gonna take and and take it down the best I can. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that. This is a uh, 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, if you had something like 60 or 40. That would work even better for the initial takedown. Sorry about that, all that noise. Um, <coughs> you can see that it's, I don't have quite the right, I need to be a little, I don't know, not quite as steep of a, an angle when I'm going up across there. Um, steaming because I stuck it in water. You want to keep quenching it in water um, to keep it from heating up real hot. Um, but you can see, uh, I need a little steeper angle there. I don't know. I'm just going to play around with it. I might not go that deep with it. Uh, but it, that's what you got to do. You just got to kind of mess around with it and see what, what's going to work and what's not. Just as you go. <coughs> like I said, if you had if you had a real fancy knife sander or something like that, you know, you could make that really, really nice. But uh, I don't have one, and I sure a lot of other people don't have them so this is just a, a way you can do it. and you could always take this down with uh, your grinder you know take that angle down with your grinder if that's all you had um you know just use your grinder to take it down but i'm going to keep going with this and i'm going to show you what we end up with all right guys so just kind of putting some finishing touches on this. Um, by no means is anything perfect. Um, if you look at it, there's all kinds of different angles and such on it from the grinding, the grinder and such. There's all kinds of different angles and stuff on there. Um, but for a free knife, you know, that is sharp. You can carve with that thing. That is nice. I mean, that's. That's got a sharp bit. I bet you could sh shave the hair off your arm with that. That is, that is nice. Well, there we go. I'm gonna put a have to put a handle on this yet. Um, there's our end. I just put that in there. You don't 
catching limbs or something coming down you know come into it I don't know I just thought it'd be cool looks cool it's more like tactical or something I don't know but uh, there's the handle um, if you can see it um, probably put a wooden handle on it what I'd like to do is put a coat of dirt coat on there um, I don't know I don't have the money to do that right now but uh, that's what I'd like to do someday uh, is put a coat of that on there so that's that's what she turned out like not too bad and starting out starting out with a um, chainsaw bar so I don't know I think it'll work work pretty good we'll take it out here then I think and um, take it out and give her a try um, here in just a second um, nice real sharp 90 degree angle easy to get a ferro rod spark off of that easy I mean that would spark no problem so I don't know we'll take her out and we'll give her a try and see you know see what happens but well um, hope you guys enjoy this uh, little video like I said I'll take you out and show you that and then I'll uh, once I get out there and get everything set up I'll get back with you so I'll be right back